Wow, this is not like any other <laughs> intro we've ever done. Uh, the lighting's horrible, babe. That's fine. Why don't we do it from over here? No, so the lighting this comes is in supposed to be. Good lighting. <laughs> this is a very different intro for sure. This is a day in the life where I drink coffee and he drinks water. 819 right now. Uh, uh. 819. I've, I've actually been up since 7. Um, I took teens downstairs to a potty and I got him water. And then typically the first hour of the morning is when I read, that's what I'm currently reading. And I plan my day because I'm a freak. And I journal my two books, plan my goals for the day. We haven't even formally done the intro yet, babe. I'm just letting them know, like this is oh, yeah, okay. intro to my day. Oh, okay. Well, welcome back to another video I'm on the electrics. Hopefully you guys are having a great day whenever you guys are seeing this. Um, we're both not morning people. We do get up, she gets up earlier than me. And uh, yeah, anyways, we, I, a lot of people have wanted to see a day in the life from us. And honestly, our days are not very entertaining, but we're gonna try to make this as entertaining as possible for you. Um, we're very routine, so it's very much like we do different things every day, but we do the same things every day just because our work, we do different things, but so I got what I got this on Amazon last night. They were going to see it and wonder why I was in the background. Um, <laughs> weren't you asking me what it's made out of? Yeah. What is petroleum jelly made out of? Patrol, p patrolatum, Patrol. PHT, and I don't know. Eric gets saddle sores from his bike. Yeah, so whenever I, um, yeah, whenever I want so, to not get saddle sores. So he has to lube up before he goes on his ride. <laughs> it's very helpful. A lot of you guys wanted to see in a day in the life from us, and like we said, we're going to try to make this entertaining. Now, this is a food channel, and we both, I mean. Well, I'm going to. I, well, we're gonna do like a typical day of eating, but the whole reason why I was like I want to do a day in the life is because I've been getting asked a lot about what I'm currently doing as far as food and my workouts and stuff like that. We probably won't film workouts. Oh, babe, yeah, with what I have coming today, we probably oh, film some workouts. Noise, that's right. I'm I, I'm expecting a really um, cool nifty package in the mail today, and it's gonna be a stabilizer for this camera so like whenever we go out and we film shots it basically makes the shot more stable so i'm very excited about that because we're going to get some juicy workout footage and get some juicy we don't typically go to the gym at the same time so are we going to the gym at the same time um probably not but um we'll still get some Here's juicy a good footage. day in the life eric shaved his eyebrows and he cut himself yeah I shaved my eyebrows <laughs> Um, if you guys, so like we, I was trying to say earlier, this is a food focused channel, um, mainly so this is not going to be a food driven video. So that being said, if you guys don't want to listen to us talk and listen to... Good morning from Kinsey. Yeah. Uh, if you don't want to see more inside of our life, then you might want to skip this video. Um, but I am gonna have a cheat meal tonight, so there will be food involved. Yes, our, uh, we're not gonna spoil where we're going for dinner tonight, but they'll probably see it in the thumbnail, so. Yes. Anyways, it is uh, 8.23 and- I'm gonna have breakfast in probably the next 20-ish minutes. And then I'm going to be, at, my mornings consist of editing and I'm gonna likely go for a bike ride around 11. And uh, yeah, we'll show you all of that. Cheers. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is my setup right here. That's my editing computer, and that is my gaming computer. So I usually sit in my chair and then edit for most of my day. A few moments later. So basically, what Christy does is she sits on her phone for an hour outside. Well, I get started here. 12 seconds later. Oh, you definitely play in. I'm, I'm thinking of a concept right now in my head about um, 
you know, the next Babe, I asked you to clean up the closet. Babe, I don't, you have a, you have four times as many do clothes as I have. Need, oh, that is not true. Do I need to remove your computer? Babe, you have four times as many clothes as Babe, I have. Do your chores. You I don't it. have any chores. I'm mm -hmm. a grown man. Mm-hmm. Do you need breakfast? Okay, here you go. Oh, you're so cute. Good morning. Eat your breakfast. Do you always do the dishes without any clothes on? No, babe. I gotta make things entertaining. So, I did one whole egg and two egg whites. My favorite. Look at you. Time for me to go ride my bike. So, bye. Give me, give me a kiss. See ya. Two hours later. So this is for all of you beautiful people out there. Don't be one of those people that leads class in the bike lane. Because Eric now has a black tire. So, I still have a bump on my head. I didn't even notice that. Eric got a flat. I didn't tell mommy had to Alright everybody, so now I'm back home, or I should say we're back home. Christy is going to take Athena for a walk and I'm going to go to the gym. Before I do though, Christy is eating some sort of thing that looks like a tortilla. It is a tortilla. And it Wait. has some green paste inside of it. That's not green. Does that really look green to you? Almond butter, peanut butter looks green to me. Really? That's yeah. weird. No, it's not green. It's definitely not green. It's what is brown. that? It's brown? It's brown. It Comment down below and, if you think that looks great. And then I make it a lip. And then I eat it. It <laughs> <laughs> sounded like Gollum from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> well, we have I been watching. Then we've been we've been watching The Hobbit. Ooh. Ooh. Let's get some cleavage in there. <laughs> One hour later. All right, everybody. So I am back from the gym. I got a cool, nifty package that actually isn't a PO box package. I ordered this thing and uh, it should spice up our vlogs. I wanted to take our electrics vlogs up a few notches with a stabilizer. And I can't believe I still have this stupid dot on my head. The majority of the comments down below are gonna be about the dot in the middle of my head, but it's totally fine. Anyways, I'm gonna unbox this and kind of show you guys what we got. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go out probably to the mall and do some shopping and then get some food. And yeah, and finish the rest of this video. And that, my friends, is the DJI Ronin SC. This is looking very, very complicated. Um, but yeah, it's a stabilizer. If you guys don't know what a stabilizer is, it's something that helps prevent the camera from being extra shaky. And uh, yeah, I think we should be able to get some sweet footage with this. All right, everybody, so scratch that, but that's the gimbal right there. We're just gonna scratch off the usage of the gimbal for now because I cannot seem to get it all functioning and operational right now but that's totally fine. Christy is currently naked in the, in the other room, so I will not show you her. Um, how was your workout, babe? Quick. Now we are going to go out and uh, show you our day. This is Lincoln. Oh wait, I'm sorry, Mrs. Lincoln. <gasps> uh, <laughs> she won't last long. <laughs> Nobody ever lasts in that apartment. I wonder if it's We haunted. just got new neighbors, everybody, and uh, it's Nobody funny. Nobody stays in that apartment. Nobody stays in the apartment. I think um, it's haunted. Close. Probably is haunted. So now we're going to go to the mall and look for some shoes and then get some sushi. Do you want to get Froyo still? This is our day, everybody. This, it's, this, this is, is our, our day. This is not a typical Friday day because um, we never go to the mall. We never go shopping. But Chrissy's got a hole in her Nikes. But needs to be to be kissable. I'm just staring at those lips. Goodness gracious. Let's do one more kiss. Do you have a mustache? What? Don't show me my mustache. Do you don't have a mustache? So I found my shoes and we're gonna try to find Christy her shoes. Had to wear them out. Try 
Hi, babe. So what are we doing now? We're gonna go get Froyo. 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 Froyo changed my life. Why did it change your life? Changed my life because the girl who introduced me to macros, I saw her. I asked her what she ate, and she said, "Oh, I eat everything. I eat like Froyo." And I was like, "What?" And she introduced me to the concept of macros and how she fit frozen yogurt into her diet and why she looked that way. It changed my mind. It blew my mind. Like a kid in a candy store, literally. What is taro? Taro? Try it. Ooh, that was way too much. It's nutty. I don't know if I like that. You don't like watermelon? Oh my god. Oops. Let's get out of the way. The watermelon's super good. I'm going to kind of do a little and I'll show you the finished product. Yum, we got a lot, we got our food in today for sure. Yum. Getting our food in today. Really good. What's your favorite one? Watermelon sorbet? Ooh, the watermelon's surprisingly really watermelon good. Watermelon sorbet and then kiwi strawberry. We got some mango in here too. Some mango? Yeah, we got a date for it. Isn't though. it kind of weird that we're getting froyo before we have dinner? Nope, you eat what you love first. Mmm, the mango's amazing. Ooh, coconut strawberry. So good. Wow, the coconut's good. We didn't taste that one. I risked it. And it was worth it. One of each flavor. Totally worth the 10 bucks. $10 for that. It's a masterpiece. It's like Hawaii in your mouth. I'm gonna be the true judge of this. That tastes like a lot of really bad decisions on the beach. It does. It totally does. Oh yeah. It tastes like Hawaii in your mouth. What it needs is rum. Oh, that would be good. All right, so now we're going to go order our sushi and then we're gonna make a little grocery run then pick up our sushi and then we'll see you guys back at home. All right, everybody, so we decided we're actually gonna be civilized human beings and we're actually gonna go eat inside our sushi. Inside the restaurant. Inside the restaurants. We're, we're gonna actually get a thumbnail. Like, we can get better thumbnails at home, but we're gonna take a chance and try to get one in here. And if not, I have a plan B. But, uh, but yeah, we're YouTubers, so we gotta think about that stuff. Anyways, we'll show you what we get in just a few moments. So two California rolls for Christy. And one eel cut roll for me, and one tuna eel roll for me, and then we're gonna do a octopus roll for you. We really shouldn't have eaten froyo. Yeah, uh, it's freezing in here. That's really gonna warm you up. It'd be so delicious. Nice. Perfect. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, so, Christy got the two avocado rolls, and then I got the tuna roll, and then I got that's the tuna roll, and then that's the eel roll. So, babe, are you excited for this? I'm very excited. I haven't had sushi in a long time. So, these two are both mine. Oh. I'm going to get destroyed for this. Oh, my this. goodness. Is that legit octopus? Legit octopus. Yeah. No, just do this. Just use these two fingers. Like that. Octopus. Am I gonna eat it? Oh, I don't know. I got scared. <laughs> It's 
chewy. <laughs> I'm just going to stick with my imitation crab. This is to cleanse the palate. I need it. Yeah. No, but it's too good. Feels super good. It's basically got like, it's like a sweet eel sauce. It's it. very good. Yeah, these rolls are, I was thinking it was going to come with like six pieces, but they came with eight. This is the sinus blender. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's so good, I like it. Can I stop or shut up? I'll try it. You can't even taste the avocado. <laughs> I can definitely sense that the hot powder is there. You don't want any wasabi? No. Just pick it up with your hands. They're all one and two down below, anyways. So good. Oh, the thing about sushi is that you can eat it so fast and not feel the fullness until like 30 minutes later, and then you're like, crap. Boom. Killed it. Babe? I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. I didn't think I'd be able to eat both rolls. I ate both rolls. Get your nice. Meat. You got me mint? So fifty dollars later, we got our sushi. Oh my gosh, it was so worth it. She killed tea rolls. We're gonna go grocery shopping, and we'll see you guys back home. All right, everybody. So we have our groceries right here. I thought we'd give you guys a rundown about what we got at the store. We got some strawberries because Christy goes through like four pounds of them a day. We got some yogurt. This Carb Master yogurt is actually really good. It's macro friendly. And then we have some Greek yogurt. Christy and I both love that. Christy decided to get a Coke Zero that had somebody else's name on it, which is kind of weird, but oh well. And then I got some chicken right there. And then some sugar-free Jello, which is actually really good. If you guys like to make oatmeal, you can put it in your oatmeal. You can put it in protein shakes. Super good stuff. We got some Halo Top birthday cake. For whatever reason, I got some lemon pepper because I like to season my chicken with lemon pepper. Then we have some sugar-free jam. And then we got some Diet Squirt. And then Christy decided that she wanted to get peanut butter puffs. For whatever reason, the last time that we had these and we ate them all, she blamed me. But whatever. Um, and then we got some broccoli and cauliflower. And that is it for this little mini grocery haul. And uh, this is about the time where Mr. and Mrs. Electric have private time. See ya. Twelve seconds later. We know we're not living in sin. <laughs> okay, so now now that we've done all of that, now that we've <laughs> how, how do I say that? Now that that's all out of the way, let's uh, get everything like it is normally. Start that over. We thought it was recording. I thought we <laughs> we're all over the place, but we just thought the camera was recording and it's not, so we unpackaged all of this and it is what it is. So we got some some goodies over here. We got some snacks that we're gonna munch on. Um, the last time I had Quest chips, I did not like them, so I wonder. It's been a few years, so hopefully they've reformulated and. Uh, but better. in a more general sense, we hope you guys have enjoyed the video because. Um, Honestly, you guys have been asking us to do like a day in the life video for a long time. And this isn't like, this is t not super typical day in the life. Like this is definitely above average typical day in the life for us. Like normally we would probably, typically go to we just go like literally both to the gym and then we go, I go to the store, you come home. And, I, and work. we work. Yeah, you know? so, um, but yeah, we hope you guys have liked it. If you guys want to see more, be sure to let us know down below. We got a package from Amy Victoria from, <clears throat> this is actually addressed to Eric the Electric. Usually when we get 
mail, it's the electric. So I, I think she, Amy just wanted to send this to me, so I wanted to unbox it. This, uh, it says love from the UK here. So this is from Amy Victoria, which is funny because your Coke's name is Amy. I just want to give you guys a tip. If you do choose to have a cheat meal, it's very important that you drink water, like a lot of water. How sick is this? That's cool. Right, oh, that's oh, nice. That's cool. So we got some uh, Maltesers and um, a Milky Bar, Munchies, Toffee Crisp, Kit Kat Chunky. It's cool how, it, it's really cool how they- I love Rolos. Yeah, they changed the, the branding across the pond with certain things and I personally like the candy over- Did you just say across the pond? Across the pond. So as I was saying, uh, the packaging across the pond is always on point. Thank you, Amy, for sending this over to us, uh, to me. I really appreciate it. It was nice of you. Uh, if you guys ever want to send us anything, you guys can send us stuff. It'll be down below. Our PO box information is down below in, uh, in the description. And this is to me. I have a feeling there's snacks in here. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is, the, uh, this is the people that we got. We had um, the protein chips from. Oh, oh that's awesome. So, these are good. Um, these are actually really good. Um, we had these for uh, the first time in Henderson, Nevada. We actually had, um, these are popcorn chips. Mm. So, um, we found them at Whole Foods. Whole Foods, you guys can get your local like, Whole Foods. You probably get them at a lot of health food stores. But um, these are protein chips and you can see they They're have very... like very good macro macro profiles on them. You can check it out right there. Maybe pause the video if you need to. Um, very good macro profiles. This is uh, the barbecue that's toasted cauliflower. Oh, me and Eric killed a bag of these. Yeah, we totally that? did. Yeah. Harvest kale right here. And Ooh. then we have um, buffalo. We have a buffalo one right there. They sent a lot over. Then they have the greens and beans. So they're, they're they're, it's like a plant-based chip. And then um, this is the roasted beets one. So be on the lookout for these from us in a, in a separate video. I actually tagged them on my IG and they and they offered to send us some. So I was like, cool, but that was like a long time ago. Was it this company? Or yeah. This oh, so this company sent it to us. Yeah. Oh, I, I thought a subscriber sent it to us. No, 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 oh. no, I told you that. Uh, they were gonna send us some. So. Well, thank you. So be sure you to have those in a YouTube video. Do you wanna, do you wanna Open one on camera right now? Um, yeah, we, well, I mean, we have a lot of chips, so. More chips, more better. Okay, which one do you want? Uh, no, you choose, whatever. No, you can choose. No, let's do the buffalo. Buffalo? Okay, so we'll do the buffalo ones now. Okay. Um, we are being good this week, even though it's Christy's repeat day, so we're not gonna be getting into any of this candy. I'm actually gonna save this for a future challenge on my main yeah, channel. Yeah, good idea. So, um, and we've actually had all these before. I actually don't think I've had the, the Milky Bar. Lake. Oh, those are good. It's it's weird. That's a weird chocolate bar. It's like it's literally flaky. This looks like a Canadian one. I understand that you have some questions on okay. our Instagram. Yes. Um, if you are not already following me on IG, Let's get this. follow me on IG if you want to see more day in the life stuff. But I got a lot of questions because the last was it the last video that I talked about um, losing. Like what I'm doing to lose size. Right. This is the last one. Right. So I've been getting a lot of questions, and so I just decided to address them all on YouTube on this video. And we have some for you. So, what are your favorite mu muscles to work on? Are you asking me? Are these mm -hmm. questions for me? Yeah, I just have a bunch of them. Favorite muscles to work on? For me, are my stomach muscles. Stretching them. Mm -hmm. Um, I'd say leg day is my favorite. My legs. I like deadlift days and squat days and bench days. Every day. That's what. That's what you Ooh. do. With Those are good. <gasps> Dang. So the guy at the store was like, the taco ones aren't very good. That tastes like a taco. Wow. It does. For sure. Okay, I'm impressed with those. Okay. Is it okay if I eat oatmeal every day? I eat oatmeal every day. Is you gonna be okay? I was asked if I fast, I do not intermittent fast, but he does. Yeah, I even brought up the topic of intermittent fasting on my Instagram and it was literally I had a Q and A and literally there were probably about 
1,500 questions on that Q&A and 1,400 and 1,400 of them were about intermittent fasting. So I'm just like, everybody do what you want to do. <laughs> yeah. Um, do what's sustainable. So I don't intermittent fast. I eat probably every three hours, I would say. Yeah, and that's what, since this is a full day of eating video, people are going to be like, well, Eric, Christy ate during the day. Why don't you eat during the day? I intermittent fast because for me, it's a better way for me to control my calories. And it's, um, for me, I prefer to, I'm, I'm not hungry anyways, until up until like, like some days I am hungry, but the majority of the days I'm definitely, I'm, I'm hungry more towards four, after four or 5 p.m. And that's usually when I eat, I usually eat around six or seven and I can get all my calories in during that, that time. So it's just, it's just more of a preference thing. But if, but if we're ever like traveling or whatever and I'm hungry during the day, we'll usually eat. Like I have no problem not intermittent fasting, but I just do it because it's convenient. So. I, I can't. I've tried intermittent oh, fasting and I just can't do it. You can't do it at all. No, I get hangry and I my energy is just crappy throughout the day. And the worst part about it is you eat so much late at night, depending on where your fasting window is. But he does it at night, so I would do it with him. I would wake up and just be food hungover and just, oh. And I prefer to wake up feeling lighter. And so I try to get my last meal in latest 9 30 and it's normally like i'll do greek yogurt lately i've been doing greek yogurt and strawberries and pb2 that's like what i've been doing how many days do you do um only cardio um twice a week right now am i only doing cardio days but my action but the actual cardio is hit style like it's working cardio so i just posted on my instagram a treadmill example where i will jog for a minute i'll lunge for a minute um i'll walk on an incline for a minute and i'll rotate that for like 20 minutes and then i'll do sprints and so my cardio isn't steady state it's always a working cardio session if that makes sense um you don't ever do just cardio days but, you, really... but you do cardio every single day yeah, I lift every day too. So every day I do both. Which brings me to my next question, which was about rest days. I, right now, what I've been doing is that I work out three days and then I take a rest day. And I work out three days and I take a rest day. And that has worked really, really well for me. What I've learned with my um, hypothyroidism is that my body does better when I rest more frequently. Like my inflammation and everything stays down when I just pay attention and just rest more. So. Take it when you feel like you need rest days. Do you ever take rest days? Rarely. Once every few months. No, I can't do that. Like, but he, I feel like you just have this desire to like, you have to expend energy and I have to take rest days where I just, I don't feel well. And I feel like my body responds better when I take more frequent rest days. So I used to only do once a week, like once every six days. And I've realized that I do better when I do like these, these past couple weeks. And it just keeps me more motivated too when I can work out three days and then take a rest day. Work out three days, take a rest day. It works very, very well for me. And it helps with burnout and that type of stuff, so. I take a rest day every day. Uh when we travel, uh, that's like my worst day. Would you ever consider doing another food challenge with Eric? No, that will probably never happen again. Not like that. Probably never again. Probably never again. Never say never though. Um, what are some healthy breakfast options besides oatmeal? What's, what's funny about that? Because everybody on my Instagram only sees me eat oatmeal. Um, I'll do cream of rice. Cream of Why don't wheat, people like oatmeal? I, I love, love oatmeal. I love oatmeal. I love it. Like even as a kid, when I was a chubby kid, I loved oatmeal. I loved putting like half the bag of brown sugar on top of my oatmeal and just like, oh, I'm so healthy right now. But it's good regardless of whether it has brown sugar in it or not. Um, the next question was, do I have German clients? I've never worked with somebody in Germany, but I have. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? I had a girl just sign up from Egypt. I've got girls in Australia, Canada, Milan, France. I have girls worldwide, the UK, everywhere. So if you want to go learn more about that, you can click the link down below yes. in the description. Yes, www.girl-hustle.com worldwide. Um, okay, that's making me group. So this was, um, this is more so addressing how I'm, 
how I've changed my routine. I, if you're following me on Instagram, I've been on my highlights. You'll see, you'll see, um, I've been actually saving my progress. In the past two and a half weeks, I've dropped about five pounds. I've dropped a few, quite a few inches. And basically what I've done is that I've cut out all traditional weightlifting and I've only been doing hit style workouts and hit style cardio with the frequent rest days and I've scaled back protein. So her question was, how many days a week are you doing the hit workouts versus how many cardio days? So I'll do, this is what I have been doing. I do a hit, hit workout day, a hit cardio day, hit workout day, rest. And that's what I've been doing rotating through. And it's worked out really, really good because I don't lose motivation in between because I'm switching it up. So this girl, she says, I'm seriously thinking of taking a stab at something like, a stab at something like this um, to bring down my muscle mass. I love the feeling of being agile when I'm stage lean, but obviously that isn't attainable and is just a result of being super duper lean. Reducing muscle mass overall is a more realistic and reasonable goal. That's exactly how I was feeling. I loved the feeling I felt when I was super lean, when I was competing, where I just felt more agile and just overall so much better in ways. It's really hard to explain. And so, but she's absolutely right. Like maintaining that really low body fat is not realistic. And so this approach that I've taken, I'm not stressed about having to main my lean, maintain my lean mass for stage. And so I really think because my mindset is completely shifted, that's why my body is responding so well. And I've scaled back on protein, so that's obviously gonna, I can definitely tell that I'm dropping body fat and lean mass at the same time and pretty rapidly. Um, and I think it's just because I've scaled back on protein. I kept my carbs and my fats the same and I just tapered back my protein, which put me in a deficit. And then I completely changed my style of workouts and it's made a huge difference really big difference so far yeah i know it doesn't really matter to you like how i look or whatever but has it i mean like it hasn't affected anything between me and you as far as no yeah i mean you're always uh i i don't i support whatever goals you have with your body and you'd support whatever goals i have with my body the thing is is i don't um i wouldn't ever support something that i feel like is going to be like detrimental to your health so I feel like when Christy came to me and she said, you know, I, I want, what would you think about me wanting to lose muscle? I'm like, well, I mean, when you already have so much muscle mass on you that, you know, that's really not going to really losing a few pounds of muscle math, mass isn't going to matter, then it's fine. You know, um, it's, uh, it's weird. Cause like I've only seen this situation with you and then like being as a growing up and wanting to get more involved in cycling knowing that like there's there like in in the cell in the cycling world it's like literally it's like being a fitness competitor and being a like so afraid of, of body fat and like every little ounce of body fat you're trying to minimize cyclists every every ounce of muscle they're trying to minimize they mm. hate muscle because it's literally it, it slows them down it slows them down so much and so it's like it's kind of like the same yeah. concept here well um, it, it was interesting though because when i approached eric about this i told him i was like this is something i've never done before i'm gonna need to do some research and i was like like what do you think i should do like how should i approach this and he basically exactly what he said he was like you need to think of it as like somebody who doesn't an athlete who doesn't want a whole lot of lean mass like what are they doing and i'm like well, they're doing so much cardio and so I just basically reverse engineered what the majority of bodybuilders do where they're like, always like, you have to have your protein in, you gotta lift the weights heavy. And I'm like, what if I just don't do that and scale back and you know, some of that and change it that way. And I've been absolutely blown away by the response that my body has. And it's actually, really hard to eat less protein because protein is what makes you full yeah that was that it's was what i was hard. gonna say it's probably like out of observing her it's probably been the hardest thing she's like oh how much protein is that in yeah that? instead of like how many how many carbs is in that yeah i'm like oh there's, it's too much protein like i it's it, it's so easy for me to get in protein um and so that's been very interesting um but overall like i feel like what i'm doing right now it in some ways has been even harder like scaling back size 
to me is harder than putting on size and so it's it's been interesting. I'm really excited. I know like where I want to be is probably gonna take a couple more months, but I'm gonna continue to do it and we'll can I'll continue to keep you guys um uh posted on that. Um while traveling, what would you say is the hardest thing for you to stick with? Do you find it hard to stick with your diet when there's always so many yummy foods and desserts to eat, especially with air for you? Honestly, like it's not really a temptation anymore. Like I'm exposed to it all the time. It's funny, I started this um, losing when he did his unlimited calorie challenge. And I was like, I have no sympathy for people who are around junk food all the time because he like walked in with pizzas and everything like that. And I was like, cool. I'm just gonna sit over here with my carriage. <laughs> and then while I'm not eating anything the day after, she's like, so I guess it kind of balances out. Well, he sits and works in the morning and I'm making breakfast and he's like, what are you making? It smells really good. And I'm like, oh, that sucks. And I don't really think about it. Um, it doesn't still matter to me though because I'm not really hungry. I just like pointing out that it smells good. Yeah. What do you think is the hardest thing for you to stick with when traveling? Um, hardest thing to stick with? Mm -hmm. um, probably not going out and drinking. Cause I feel like traveling, uh, that that's like the thing you should do is like to go out and socially drink. But like, I guess cause I never really drink when we're home. So it's like, but I know if I'm eating tons of food, I probably likely shouldn't be doing that to my system. I think the hardest thing for me to stick to is when I travel, I try to keep my schedule as consistent as possible. Um, so getting in foods that I'm used to eating and sleep. Those are the two things that I have a really hard time doing here. Last question. Do you still do cheat days meals and do you track on those days? Well, I did one today. Um, Would you call this a cheat day? No, it was definitely a cheat meal. It's a very great question. So what I do is that, and this is what I have my clients do, do as well is that you track your macros that you've typically been eating, like you eat your day and then you have your cheat meal if it's, you know, moderate. Um, for my clients who aren't, you know, cause cheat meals can be a very, very slippery slope. And if you are not mentally ready to be like, Cameron, I'm gonna have my cheat meal and I'm gonna stop. Like if you can't stop and it turns into a weekend, then I have my clients do refeeds. And so I schedule them actual macros that they have to track. And so for me personally, I have the control. So I don't typically need to track a cheat meal, but I like doing it. Um, like just because I'm, break. yeah, because I'm just curious to see, you know, where it was at. So the sushi that we had, we were just talking about it and it was probably, you know, a uh, hundred grams of carbs, 10 grams of fat and you know a little bit of protein because there's yeah. not much to it it's mostly she, rice. she's intuitive and knows what goes into the food that she eats but if you're somebody that's just like oh i started tracking macros last week and i have the stomach capacity of you know like four people and then you go out and eat six thousand calories like that's gonna really add up at the end of the week you know so that's where having this is my my difference in the opinion and for most people is that i don't think that we should we're not animals, we're not dogs. We don't need to like see it, like have a treat or a cheat mm -mm. because you shouldn't use food as a reward source. And I'm and not doing this for no, a reward. I'm gonna, I'm not, I'll I'm explain not, this, I'm, yeah. I'm not, I'm not saying you are, but most people do. Like only time that I use like the terms cheat with like day is mainly for SEO reasons because people will like, I'm ad admittedly saying that like cheat days more people are lo more likely to want to watch somebody that's saying oh i'm having a cheat day See, versus somebody that's saying oh i'm going out to having a full day of eating yeah. it's like it doesn't it's not like the same thing seo means search engine optimization yeah um most so it's more searched in the thing um i went two and a half weeks very strict on my protocol i did not falter i got really really great results i was really happy with it and the the problem is when you're trying to lose size and stuff like that is that your body is so smart and it can adapt pretty quickly and so when you're in a deficit and you're doing your cardio and that type of stuff your body becomes like 
a Prius. Like it becomes fuel efficient. And so your body will naturally slow its metabolism down to work with the food that you're giving it and the output that you're making it do. And so in order to avoid those plateaus, it's important to incorporate refeeds or cheat meals once, once a week or once every 10 days or every two weeks. My body responds really well with every two weeks. We'll see how I do next week and maybe I'll have another cheat meal, but that's the point of them. The point of them is not to treat yourself or anything like that. Like there's actual science that goes behind it. Um, Lane Norton does a way better job explaining it in his book, uh, Fat Lost Forever. Um, God, you, Lane. But that's, I, I really, he used the visual of the Prius, which I mean, like I already understood that, but I liked the way that he explained it. Um, so that's basically the whole point of doing cheat meals and refeeds is to uh, keep your metabolism primed. Primed, yeah, yeah. So that's why that's why I did it, and that's why I have my clients do it. Every week, I typically have clients refeed or cheat meal, and they get killer results. It's awesome. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let us know down in the comments below. Um, post a, a comment or a question, and we might be able to answer it in the next video. Um. And if you're looking for a coach, you know where to find me. Go follow me on AG. Help me get to 40K. Come on, guys. Help me out. If you're not following me already. And if you guys want to see another day in the life, let us know down below. And I post a lot more day in the life things on my Instagram as well. And his too. So. Without further ado. The Alexis are out.